This is how to construct a precipitation table. You've done many of these reaction tables before. Construct the reaction table for mixing 45 mils of 0.17 molar silver nitrate and 64 mils of 0.21 molar potassium chromate. And we're also given the KSP of silver chromate. Okay, very well. Let us first write the reaction. We have two silver ions reacting with a chromate to give our solid silver chromate, which is a solid in precipitates. Let's write our amounts underneath each material. We have 54 mils and it is 0 0.17 molar for the silver. We have 64 mils and it is 0 0.21 molar for the chromate. All right, the first part of this is just taking 54 times 0.17 and finding out that I have 9.18 millimoles. Now, since this is only good to two sig figs and we have to enter this into WebAssign, let's just stick with 9.2, not 9.18. Okay? Let us do the same thing with 64.21. That comes out to be 13.44 millimoles, but very irritatingly, this is only good to two sig figs, so we will just write 13 millimoles. And zero here. Alright. Now, I can tell that if I were going to use 13 millimoles of chromate, I'd need 26 millimoles of silver. Whereas if I were going to use 9.2 millimoles of silver, I only need to use 4.6 millimoles of chromate. So this has to be my limiting reagent. So on the delta row, I will subtract all of my silver minus half the amount of chromate and plus 4.6 millimoles of precipitate. All right. Now on my final, this will be zero millimoles. Um, being very careful with sig figs, technically this was 13, I'm going to write 0.44 sort of in the background, and it was minus 4.6. And if I take that, I know this table's a little bit wiggy, I wind up with 8.84, which I'm going to write as 9 millimoles. And this is good to two sig figs because I'm adding to zero. So that is 4.6 millimoles. Quite distressing. Okay. Uh, the first question we're asked after the table is what mass of precipitate forms? That's easy enough. We can take our 4.6 millimoles of silver chromate. And we know that there are 1,000 millimoles in one mole. And as far as molar mass goes, the molar mass of silver chromate is 331.73 grams of silver chromate per one mole of silver chromate. So, Multiplying all that out, I get 1 point, um, looks like 5.2 grams, which is only good to two sig figs, so I will input 1.5 grams. All right, the next question says, um, what is the concentration of excess reactant? at equilibrium. Well, please note that I have nine millimoles right here. Of my material. And that would be my chromate. And it is in 54 plus 64 milliliters. So, 
9 divided by 54 plus 64 should give me 0 0.076 molar, and that is my concentration of chromate. Okay, the last question asks, what is the concentration of limiting reactant at equilibrium? Well, we know it's approximately zero, but there is actually a real value associated with it. The way to determine the actual real value associated with it is to realize that Ksp of this reaction is equal to 1.1 times 10 to the minus 12. Well, that was for when we went from solid to aqueous, right? So for our reaction right here, really, the equilibrium constant should be 1 over Ksp when we are going from aqueous to solid, and that should be equal to 1 over my silver ion concentration squared times my chromate concentration. All right. Well, this sort of barely breaks down into just Ksp, so I hope you don't mind if I just flip it, and say that 1.1 times 10 to the minus 12, I'll just write a little flip here for both of these, is going to be equal to my silver ion concentration squared, that's what I'm trying to figure out, times my chromate concentration, which is 0 0.076 to the first power. So multiplying that out and taking the square root, I get that my silver concentration turns out to be 3.8 times 10 to the minus 6 molar. And that is my last answer. Alright, that's how you do a precipitation table now that you know KSP.